In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the best remakes in my movie collection. Hey, it's me, AP, aka Mr. Movie Cheer, and welcome back to another video. So, best remakes in my movie collection. Uh, this topic of discussion ca came from a recent uh, comment from community member Paul, also known on YouTube as Sibullen, uh, Paul from Down Under. Um, basically, P Paul was discussing, we were having a discussion in the comments, and he, he asked me like, what, what are my favourite remakes, movie remakes, and I obviously uh, was asking him what his favourite ones were as well. And I said to Paul, I think, you know, I think this would be an, an awesome uh, discussion for a, a video topic. So I, I thought, you know what, let's let's go for it. Let's do a video on this. Uh, so I just want to say a big thank you to Paul from Down Under, Sibylan. Thank you very much, Paul, for the uh, for inspiring this topic for this video. I appreciate it, buddy. Movie bud fist to you, my friend. Um, but yeah, so I will say just before I deep dive into some of these movies, I've got six choices. I will say I've not watched every single uh, version of the original version. All of these remakes I have watched, and I think also, I will also say this, that remakes sometimes, you know, I was, I was trying to think like, what what is truly classified as a remake? Uh, is, a, is another adaption of something a remake of whether it be originally an adaption of a book? I, I think, it, you know, it, it's really subjective what you define as a remake, reboots nowadays, but uh, I will go into the choices and why I've, I'm going to, you know, call them remakes as such in this video uh, but yeah let's let's deep dive into the topic of best remakes in my movie collection so my first choice today is oceans 11 uh what a cast george clooney matt damon andy garcia brad pitt julia roberts uh just a fantastic heist i mean that's just a, just a few of the names in this movie awesome movie i i always used to watch this um i mean Really, I would say for me, this is the first heist movie I'd ever watched. I, I can't really think of another heist movie I'd watched before Ocean's Eleven. Um, but this is just, it's phenomenal. It, it's made me, like, fall, you know, really, like, you know, really enjoy the genre of heist movies from watching Ocean's Eleven. I really have a, a lot of good memories of watching this. This I think it's great. I think Clooney and Brad Pitt, for me, they steal the show, the pair of them. They are phenomenal. Uh, it's got some great music in there. You've got Elvis in there. Even though I'm not a massive Elvis fan, but I think some of the, you know, the very popular songs, and I think there was that one that come out. I think it was like um, a Junkie XL remix of one of the songs that features in the end scene of this or something. It's, it's in the movie anyway at some point. I'm going to have to rewatch this at some point soon. But yeah, great, great movie. I've never seen the original, so I can't really say... Was it the Rat Pack? Rat Pack or the Rat Pack was it? Was it, was it Rat Pack or the Rat Prack? I don't know. I don't know. It's the Rat Pack, isn't it? That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> How silly I sound right now. Um, but I think it's that anyway. Um, in the original original movie. But yeah, great movie. Even though I've never seen the original. Superb watch. Ocean's Eleven. The next remake I'm going to discuss is Dawn of the Dead, the Zack Snyder directed movie. This was also uh, the screenplay, I think the screenplay was written by James Gunn, the director of the Guardians of the Galaxy, the, the new Suicide Squad movie. Uh, this was actually a prop I used in um, in a recent, when I, I did a short film last year, The Monster Hideaway, on the YouTube channel, you can check it out on YouTube, and it's this was like the one of the plot uh, points of that short film, it was like featured in it, and it says here, property of the Monster Hideaway on the back, uh, fun little uh, tidbit for the, uh, you know, channel the Movie Cheer podcast, bit of tidbit info there, but yeah, the uh, Dawn of the Dead remake though, this is... A phenomenal movie. I, I really enjoy watching this. I think it's a a movie that is kind of for me. I feel like it's an underrated movie because I think a lot of people. I've seen the original and I do like the original. Um, for me though, the remake is much better. I, I think it's a much better movie, even though it's you know it's pretty much the same story. Um, but I do like this. I think it's a really well shot movie. I think it's you know it's gripping. It's you know like high energy. That pacing's really good in the film. And the characters are great, you know, and I, I just, I, I think this Zack Snyder, you know, version of this story, Dawn of the Dead, I think it, it, it did a really good uh, version, his version, his Zack Snyder version, and it feels like a Zack Snyder movie, you know, it's very, you know, the tone is like, kind of like 
re- like a realistic tone, but like really dark at times. And obviously, it's a zombie movie; it's going to be dark. But I, I think the characters in this and the, the the cast is great. And yeah, overall, I think it's just a, a really good watch. The Zack Snyder Dawn of the Dead. Next up on my list is Aladdin, the Will Smith-led Aladdin movie directed by Guy Ritchie. It always surprises me that that was that this movie was directed by Guy Ritchie, the guy who who directed like Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, and was it Snatch? He done all them sort of ones. But this is a well-directed movie and a great remake of like the 1992 uh, Aladdin animated movie. As we all know, Robin Williams starred as a genie in that movie. And then, um, you know, he wasn't, he was obviously sadly passed away. And now we have Will Smith in the lead role as the Aladdin, uh, not as the Aladdin, as the genie. And we have this live action version of Aladdin. And this, you know, follows suit of the other other live action Disney remakes. So you have like the likes of The Jungle Book, the, li- the li- live action Lion King as well. There's been tons of them now, isn't it? Dumbo, Lady in the Tramp. I, I'm probably missing tons off there, but... This is one, I never watched the original Aladdin as a kid, so I I had no memories of it, so I watched this for the first time, this was my first experience of the Aladdin story, and I really enjoyed it, and I've since watched the original as well, and I I do think, for me, I think I sort of lean towards the animated version a bit more, I think it's just, something about Robin Williams is, is super special. But I do think it is a superb remake. I think it's a really great remake in my collection. And it's one movie I do enjoy going back to uh, every couple of months. I think it's a really fun movie. Next on the list is The Bourne Identity starring Matt Damon as Jason Bourne. Now, I wasn't actually aware that there was an earlier adaption of this story. So basically, The Bourne Identity uh, story is, is a book. It's based on a book. And basically, in 1988, there was a television movie of The Bourne Identity. And apparently, the story is very similar to the actual movie adaption here with Matt Damon. I've never seen this. Uh, but this was actually brought to my attention by uh, by Paul, who su- just suggested this topic, came up with this topic idea for this video. I remember speaking to him a couple of months back, maybe before Christmas, and we were, I can't remember what video it was we were discussing, but we... You know, we started talking about remakes, reboots, and he mentioned the Born Identity uh, being a remake. And I was like, I, I, I didn't really know what he meant first. And then I, I looked into it and I was like, oh, wow. I, I, I never knew that Born Identity was something before the movies. I, I really didn't know. I knew it was a book series, but I never knew that there was an earlier adaption of this story, which really, really shocked me because it was just like something I had never heard of. It's like the Mission Impossible movie series. I'd heard of that being... Uh, a TV show prior to the movies and now you know I kind of like a similar thing with this you know it was a television adapted movie in 1988 really surprised me and it'd be you know a bit of intrigue to watch it just to see what that 1988 version is like I can't imagine it's going to be anything like this version just like the high pacing the high action and just the the phenomenal act of Matt Damon but just out of intrigue I'd be interested to watch this and just to check it out as just as a fan of movies for sure but Born, Born Identity is another best remake in my collection so the next movie I want to discuss is the BFG the big friendly giant now this is the Steven Spielberg movie this is a, a really something I've watched maybe found out about in the last year. I think I watched it on like the iPlayer at first and I've recently got a copy of this on DVD. Absolutely really enjoyed this movie. I think it's fantastic. Uh, I I like Mark, is it Mark Rylance in the lead role? I think it is, yeah, Mark Rylance as the the BFG. I I think the world in it is is really, I love the world of the BFG. I think it's just, you know, this world of giants. I just, I love stepping into that world when you're watching it on screen. But we did also have the 1989 uh, adaption animated version of the BFG story. Now, I know it was obviously originally a Roald Dahl book, and this is one of those where it's kind of like a remake, but it's also just a a new adaption of that story. But, you know, for the... For the point of this video, we're going to say it's a remake because it's a remake of the of the original uh, 89 animated movie. You know, some people are going to be like, uh, actually, it's, it's, a, it's a new adaption. It's not a remake. You know, sure, sure. 
it's subjective it's whatever you think it has but i'm gonna go for it's a remake in this video and yeah it's a great movie one for all the family if anyone can enjoy this movie it's just such a it's a movie you can just put on and just chill out to i i often watch this before i go to bed and i'll, I'll honestly i'll fall asleep watching that and it's not that it's a bad movie it's just i find it very relaxing to watch and it's a, a really well well worth checking out if you've not checked out the bfg already now we go to the final choice of this video and my final choice is the Italian Job remake starring Mark Wahlberg, Charlie's Furren and Edward Norton. Now I have seen the original, I do like the original but for me the this is the first version of this Italian Job story I, I ever watched and I think it is superb. I am, you know, this is one where I enjoy the Fast and the Furious movies I think they're great films. This was out. It must have, this must have came out like you know, like a similar time period, um, maybe like early two thousands, around that same point in time. And I always thought this was a movie that would be great to have a few sequels. So you could easily have done more with Mark Wahlberg, uh, Edward Norton. You've got a great cast of characters in there, and you know Jason Statham's in this. But they never did a sequel, which was really disappointing. I remember there was like rumours of a sequel for, for a few years, but it just never came about. Maybe it could still come in the future, but I can't. it feels like it's probably too far gone now at this point to, to do another story. But I think it is a phenomenal remake of a, a new telling of this story, really, a new fresh update to this story. Uh, I really enjoy it. I think Mark Wahlberg is great in this. This was probably one of the first movies... I watched with uh, with Matt Wahlberg in it. I had never seen anything with him in before, and you know he's come on since this movie. You think like he, he is just like a huge, like a huge, huge star now. He was like in the, at this point when this movie was out, he kind of was like you know not really a massive name, but now you know Matt Wahlberg is one of the biggest names, one of the biggest actors in Hollywood. Um, great actor, I like him in a lot of films. But The Italian Job is a great remake, really uh, fun remake, fun movie. I think if you do like them action, sort of like movies like Fast and Furious, you're gonna like this. It's a heist movie as well, which is, is awesome. I love heist movies. And yeah, well worth checking out if you haven't already. So just before this video ends, I just want to do a bit of a final roundup on this topic. I'm just going to say these two movies, Ocean's Eleven and the BFG, are most certainly my favourites of, of this topic, the best remakes in my movie collection. These are movies I think I, I've watched. I mean, Ocean's Eleven, I've watched it over 20, 30 times now. I mean, probably, probably more than that, maybe 100 times. Uh, the BFG is just going to be another film that I'm going to watch over and over again over the years because I know it's just a movie I enjoy. It just clicks with me straight away. I really have a lot of fun watching that film. But both great remakes and all the movies in this video, I've enjoyed them all. And, you know, they sit in the movie collection and they sit there proudly as the best remakes in my movie collection. If you enjoyed this video today, please do give it a like and check out the rest of my movie related content as well and let me know your thoughts on this topic today. Uh, what did you think of my remakes in my movie collection here? Did you think some of them were good, some of them were bad? Uh, what are some of your favourite remakes and what are some of your favourite remakes in your movie collection? Uh, I also want to say a big thank you to Paul again for, for this recent discussion we had about uh, remakes and really inspiring this video and this topic today. So. Big thank you to Paul, uh, aka Sabulan, on YouTube. Uh, thank you very much for the topic idea, Paul. I appreciate uh, your input on this video, buddy. Uh, but yeah, this was a really fun uh, topic to deep dive into. I really enjoyed doing this video today. Maybe I'll do another one of these videos later down the line. But thank you very much for watching this video, ladies and gents. Remember to spread a bit of movie cheer. And as always, I will see you next time.